Hi, welcome. So today we are going to do a stretching class. So we're gonna hold our stretches for about 20 seconds per stretch and just to increase the flexibility. And let's get started by just reaching up overhead, taking a deep breath in and breathing out. And again, reaching up and breathing out. And let's do that one more time, breathing in and breathing out. Excellent. Okay, let's bring our hands in front. We're gonna press those arms out in front. If this is uncomfortable, you can do it this way as well. So really reach those arms forward, feeling that stretch in your upper back and holding that stretch. So if you don't feel the stretch at all, just push your hands a little bit more forward. You definitely wanna feel the stretch. It should not cause you any pain though. And bringing those palms together, we're gonna to bring the arms back, feeling that stretch in our chest. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. Now you can bring those arms back a little bit further if you're able to, increasing that stretch. Breathing in and breathing out. Excellent, bringing one arm overhead as high as you can to the ceiling. So really reach that hand up as high as you can. Continue to reach. So during the stretch, always try and increase it a little bit by reaching a little bit further if you're able to. And then just leaning to the side and we're going to hold this stretch. Continuing to breathe, taking a deep breath in and a big breath out. And bringing that arm back down, let's bring the other arm up. We're gonna reach overhead as high as you can to the ceiling. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. Reaching a little bit higher. And we're gonna to start to lean to the side and hold that stretch. So you should feel a good stretch all the way down the side here. Now coming out of that stretch, we're gonna bring our arms out to the side and you're going to hold your hands so your fingers are pointed up to the ceiling and you should feel a good stretch in your arms. And then we're gonna point our fingers down to the floor and continuing to hold that stretch. So you should feel this in the upper part of your arm. Bringing that one arm forward, we're gonna reach that arm in front of our chest and pull that arm in. Holding that stretch, this is a shoulder stretch. So again, none of these stretches should cause any pain. You should just feel a slight stretch in those, in those muscles. And bringing the other arm forward, crossing it in front of the body and hold that stretch. Excellent. And gently bringing that arm back down. We are going to bring one leg up. You are going to flex that foot so the toes are pointing towards you and you should feel that in the back of your leg. So holding that stretch. If at any point you feel it's too much, just come out of the stretch and, uh, and then come back to it when you're ready. You really need to listen to your own body and, and uh, do what feels right for you. And pointing those toes away from you, holding that stretch. Now we're stretching the front of our leg. Continuing to breathe, take a deep breath in and a big breath out. And let's just rotate that ankle, other direction. And switching to the other side, bring that leg up, flex that foot so that foot is the toes are pointed towards you again. Again, taking a deep breath in and breathing out. You wouldn't think you needed to be reminded to breathe, but often we just kind of hold our breath when we're sitting here. So it's good to, to take in some deep breaths. Pointing those toes away from you and holding that stretch. Again, taking a deep breath in and breathing out. Rotating that ankle and the other direction. 
Excellent. Now for the next one, we're gonna sit up straight. I want you to round your back. So you're gonna round your back, looking down at your thighs, and then you're gonna come out of that and look up to the ceiling and, and push your chest out. We're gonna go back into that cat stretch. So bringing that back out, rounding your back, and then looking up to the ceiling again. One more time, rounding that back, like you're a cat stretching out. And then bring your head forward, chest is sticking out. And coming back out of that, excellent. All right, let's sit forward on our chair. We're gonna bring one leg out in front. You're gonna reach down as far as you can to that foot. Main thing here is to make sure your leg is as straight as it can be. So you're reaching down as far as you can to your toes. If you can't reach your toes, that's totally fine. Just reach as far as it's comfortable for you, feeling that stretch in the back of your leg. And coming out of that stretch, we're gonna bring the other leg out and again, reach down, keeping that leg straight and reaching down. Main thing here too is also to hinge at the hips and to have your back flat. You don't want to be rounding, okay? So keep your back flat, head is up, holding that stretch. Coming back out of that stretch, we're going to bring one ankle onto the opposite knee, leaning forward, and you should feel a really good stretch in your glutes and in the side of your leg and in your hips. So again, keeping your back flat, you're hinging here at the hips. Taking a deep breath in, big breath out. Bringing that leg back down, other side. So bring that leg up, leaning forward, hinging at the hips, keeping your back flat. And coming back out of that stretch, we're gonna bring one arm up overhead. You're gonna drop that hand behind and you're gonna push that elbow back. So this is stretching out your tricep muscle. So pushing that arm back. For some people, you may already feel the stretch enough that you don't need to push the, the elbow back at all. And bring the other arm up, drop that hand behind, pushing that elbow back. So here your goal is to try, have your, try to have your arm fairly close to your head and your um, elbow and your arm is straight along with your head as well. Again, this should not cause any pain. Coming out of that stretch, we're going to just rotate the wrists in the other direction. Other direction again. Excellent. And we're going to drop that ear down to the shoulder for a neck stretch. So holding that stretch. Taking a deep breath in. And breathing out. and then slowly bringing the head into a neutral position and then dropping your ear down to the other shoulder and hold. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. Continuing to breathe. and bringing that head into a neutral position. This time you're gonna look down to the floor. Chin is as close to your chest as you can make it, feeling that stretch in the back of your neck. And bringing that head back into a neutral position, we're gonna do one more stretch for the legs. So if you can, sit on the edge of your chair you are going to have your leg at a 90 degree angle in the front and the back one you're just going to bring back as far as you can so you feel that stretch here in the front. So holding that stretch, so my leg is directly in front of me, foot is flat on the floor, the other leg is back. It's a great stretch for the quad. Continuing to breathe, taking a deep breath in and a big breath out. And we'll come out of that stretch, holding onto your chair for support, going over to the other side of your chair, leg is directly out in front, bringing the other foot back as far as you can until you feel that stretch in the front of your quad, toes are pointing forward, and hold. So you can hold onto the chair here if you feel more supported. 
Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. And bringing that leg back forward, so hold onto the chair, coming back, taking a deep breath in and big breath out. Let's just do that one more time. Deep breath in and big breath out. And that is it. Thank you for joining me and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.